In March 2011, after the Japan earthquake and tsunami, it was an invisible, silent, and odorless danger that threatened public health. A nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. As fears of radiation exposure quickly spread from Japan to the United States, the CDC's Radiation Studies Branch turned to ORAU experts to help effectively communicate to American citizens living in Japan and in the States. The CDC's Joint Information Center is part of CDC's Emergency Operations Center, which runs uh, 24 hours, seven days a week. As the nuclear emergency uh, became apparent in Japan, they started realizing that they would need additional subject matter experts to deal with this emerging threat. The JIT called me in to support because I've been working with the Radiation Studies Branch at CDC on communication and health education initiatives. ORAU supported the CDC with a number of communication challenges, including press conferences, talking points, website content, and social media, and also played a lead role in the CDC's Bridging the Gaps Public Health and Radiation Emergency Preparedness Conference. We had a variety of federal agencies and national leaders who came to speak about the importance of radiation emergency preparedness. Planning for the conference had been in the works for almost a year and a half before the Japan disaster occurred. The rapidly unfolding crisis served as a teachable moment for conference attendees. It actually was able to illustrate better than we could through any discussion that it can happen anywhere in any event. Um, we had several speakers who were sent to Japan who um, could not participate. So we actually web streamed the, the conference. A senior White House official recognized ORAU's Rachel Vasquez and the CDC's Carol McCurley for their efforts. I also want to thank Carol and Rachel for uh, the Herculean efforts they've gone through to uh, keep the uh, conference uh, organized and running as smoothly as possible given the circumstances. ORAU also had three radiation emergency medicine experts and two health communication specialists who presented at the conference. There's now a much greater awareness of radiation emergencies with the general public. And over and over again, we hear that um, CDC is a trusted agent, a trusted name in communicating about radiation emergencies. And we hope that uh, we help CDC maintain that credibility. 